read an interview in which you described some of your work as shit. Is there shit. any? Yes, <laughs> shit. You use the word shit. Is there any work here that's shit? Well, it's funny because I've sent, a, I sent um, a text to Jeff Coons recently where I said, I love your shit. And I think he, and, and I meant it in a positive way. But yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, I think as an art, you know, I have a studio where I make lots of shit, and it's like you know, I think you have to be able to make shit, you know. And then, you know, I mean, you know, this is definitely an edited version of what I do. But it, you know, you can be brutal in the way you look at it. I mean, you can say everything I've made is shit except for one piece or four pieces or ten pieces, or it depends how you look at it. Do you wonder what state of mind you were in when you went through different phases? Um, I mean, it's always this sort of, sort of you know, I mean, artworks are kind of refined. I mean, there's not often, there's, there's not, it's not often you make an artwork in a moment. So I think it's, it's a culmination of a few moments. I mean, you know, they all, everything in there seems like me. Well, you know what the accusation against you is. There's a few, aren't there? Yeah, the main one is that you're more preoccupied with money than with art. Yeah, I mean, I think I've, you know, I've thought a lot about that. I mean, I think, you know, I think money's important. But I think, you know, that's, as an artist, that's what you've, I mean, you've always got to make sure that your main preoccupation is art and not money. And I think it does get dangerously close sometimes. But, you know, that's the, the you know, the, the, the most important factor is that the art survives and the money doesn't. You know, the money's, I mean, you know, I mean, I know what anything in the world is worth. It's worth, you know, if two people have got a lot of money and they want to buy something, it's going to sell for a lot of money. But I think, you know, money... Money's not real and art is, you know, money comes and goes and you've got to make art that can survive money being attached to it and money being unattached from it. Do you think it. this will survive? I hope it will survive, you know, in a way you make art for people who haven't been born yet, you know, so it's not for us to decide, you know, I mean, I can schmooze all the big directors of all the big museums in, my, in the world and get my work in there, but, you know, if the next museum director doesn't like it, it's going to be dusty and stay in the loft. But, you I mean, you Google you and <coughs> what comes up is richest living artist. Richest artist, perhaps, in history. That sort of accusation suggests to people that you're more preoccupied with how the market works than you are with finding new ways of seeing. I mean, I think you've got to say, I mean, you know, I mean, I always said I don't care about money. I did when I was young because I didn't have any money. Yeah. But I think you have you to sure care about it. You sure care about it now. Yeah, I mean, I remember when I, after I did my auction, I was walking down the street and businessmen were going, that's Damien Hurst. And it was only their wives who used to do it, you know. And I think it's no bad thing that you can attack, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, when I started off, I had like a guy standing in front of my fish piece with a bag of chips going, this is art, you know, and it's like, you know, you've got to survive that, and that's as hard to survive as money, you know. But I think, you know, as long as I believe, as long as I trust that my work is more important than money, and I do believe still that art is the most powerful currency in the world, you know, and that's why people pay a lot of money for it. So it's, you know, it's a lot, I mean, I remember gulping when I sold something for a million pounds, you know, it shocked the hell out of me, you know, it's like, and I remember thinking, is it worth it? Is it worth it? But it's got nothing, you know, value and wealth are, are, are completely different things to money. But you've just got to go, it's, I mean, you, you know, you try and make art that can survive not being seen, not being looked at, not having any attention, and art that will also survive, you know, big l money and everything. But you look at your spot paintings, there's a team of people making them, there's vast numbers of them. That's yeah. about money, isn't it? Well, no, I mean, you know, you've got to put it on the wall. I mean, I always think with the spot paintings, if I left it outside a pub at the end of the night, if, the, if it was still there the next day, would it still be there the next day? And it's like, if some drunk guy would take it home, then it's a great painting. And it's like, it doesn't matter how much money it sells for. I mean, the thing is, the, the question is, you can sell shit to people. But it's like, but you can't sell shit to people. I mean, somebody said to me recently, you know, you could sell shit to people. And you just go, well, why would I? When I can sell them great things, you know. You know, you paint, you know, I mean, a spot painting, you put it on the wall, people walk in and say, wow, I can't think what else you would want on your wall. I mean, you know, I mean, I th you know, I mean art's leisure, that, that's the difficult thing, isn't it? That people, if you haven't got any money, you're not going to buy art, you know, and you're not going to want art if you haven't got any food. But once you've got, you know, we're not living in caves. But if it's not even made by you? Well, I mean, you know, the, in the whole history of art, I mean, art's not really been, you know, I mean, I want, I know what I want, you know, it's like architects don't build their own houses. I mean, I don't think... I mean, I mean, I mean, that's, you know, I mean, you know, nobody yeah, paid the architect, The builders build houses, architects design houses. So, so yeah. you're a designer, are you, rather than a painter? I definitely feel, you know, like an architect, really. But, you know, it's like, you know, a good architect gets 100% of what they want. I mean, I had a, I, I'm making a new show where I'm having things carved in marble. And the guys that are carving him, it's like, you know, they can carve one of the, you know, to carve one of these sculptures takes two years. It's like, I haven't got time to go and learn to carve, but I know exactly what I want, and I want it to look perfect, and I can make it perfect using these guys. 
I mean, I, I mean, it's never been a problem for me, and no. I, I don't think it's a problem. I mean, it's amazing that we're, we're having this conversation, really. But when you get, to, well, you know why we're having this conversation, because there are only two questions the media ever ask about art. One, is it worth it? And two, is it art? We haven't got onto the question, of, is it art? We'll get onto that in a second, if we may, if you've got time. But what is it? What's your definition of art? I mean, somebody asked me that the other day. I said, if it's in an art gallery, it's art. You know, but I, mean, I, I actually think that anything done well is art. Anything? Anything done well. You know, I think if, it, if you can take it out of the... You know, it's like a mathematical sum where you go one plus one equals three. It's like, you know, a great, you know, a great car is art. If it's done, you know, it's like... If it, anything that just takes it out of the normal world and into the magical world, you know, something magical is art. So, you know, like a... You know, I mean, art is... You know, I mean, you can say art is... When, it, when it, any child does a drawing and gives it to you, that's art, you know, or... But, you know, a great meal can be art. I mean, in my, that's, what, that's, what, that's what I think it is. I just think it's anything done, you know, in, it, any, anything where the, the ingredients you put into it are less than the thing that comes out the other side. Doesn't it necessarily have to show you something new, or at least a new way of looking at the familiar? I mean, I think art does that, you know. I mean, you know, it's like, but, you know, a tree falling down will do that. You know, outside your house, you'll go out and go, Jesus Christ, what is that? And you look at it in a way you've never seen it before. Yeah, but you wouldn't think of it as art. No, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm, that's why I, I'm disagreeing with you. I mean, I think, I think art is magic, you know, and it's, the, it's a kind of theatrical magic in a lot of ways as well. And it has to be man-made, doesn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, I think, yeah, art is made by artists, of course. I mean, I, you know, I remember once when I was younger, they don't have it anymore, but I put on occupation on my passport and it says artist, and you go, well, that's great, I'm an artist, you know, I can prove it to somebody. But then, also at the same time, you're going to, you know, when I was an art student, I went into my bank manager and he said, to get a loan, and he said, what are you doing? I said, I'm an artist, and he rolled his eyes, you know, and you think, oh. so it's not a great thing in that situation. You wouldn't do that now, would you? No, I get Christmas cards off my bank manager now. <laughs> That's a bad sign. Damien Hurst, thanks very much. Thanks.